Hey, hey, you guys! Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you have been following me already. And if you're new here, subscribe and like this video and do all those things so that we can be friends and we can chat and get to know each other. Anyway, I just wanted to hop on here and give you guys a little update on how I'm doing. So I am actually pregnant 15 weeks, two days today. I'm feeling really good, but I had to show you guys that I legit have a bump. So let me show you this. So I just got back from church. So that's why I'm wearing, don't mind my socks. I was wearing boots, okay? Anyway, but I definitely have like a little bump going on. And I'm not mad about it. And like, I can kind of like suck in. That's me sucking in. That's me not. <laughs> so I definitely, definitely have a bump. And it's just crazy because I literally never thought that I would get to this point in my life where I'd have a little baby bump and I honestly can't stop like rubbing it and that's just happened this week I didn't really like touch my stomach that much before um, but just now that I have this little belly poking out I can't stop like rubbing it and just holding on to it because I'm just so happy that baby girl is doing great and things definitely seem to be growing and moving along in there. I haven't felt her move officially yet, but if you watch my last pregnancy update, I feel like I I do feel little flutters going on in there, but it's just, it's weird. It's not like I've been pregnant before, so I don't really know what I'm feeling, but it just feels like tiny little flutters. So I'm really hoping in the next three to four weeks, hopefully in the next month, that I'm feeling her move and actually kick. That would be amazing. Um, anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to hop in here and say hi and kind of tell you what I've been up to, what's going on. I mean, nothing crazy. I just wanted to share with you guys that I finally got rid of everything in my closet that did not fit me anymore because as you can see, I've got a bump. It's growing. I'm getting bigger in my hips too and things are just changing. So I was getting really frustrated like last Sunday, I think I told you guys in my pregnancy update, but... I was trying to get dressed for church and I literally had to go through several different outfits just to find something that fit me and that I felt like comfortable and cute in, I guess. So um, I just went through my closet and tried on every single thing and if I didn't feel comfortable and cute and, you know, good in it, then I was not going to keep it in my closet. So I packed up a lot of stuff, put it in storage and then I gave a lot to my sisters because uh, I know they'll take care of it and they're the same size as me. Um, so they'll take care of it and wear it and use it while I'm pregnant. So And then they're like, we'll get back to you when, we're, when you're done being pregnant. So um, I did get a couple new things um, so I can show you guys that as well. So this is my closet. I mean, it's nothing special going on here, but... Um, I literally had this all filled up and then I just like got rid of so much stuff. So I still have all my like same shoes and stuff. I don't really like to have a lot of clothes anyway to be honest. Um, but basically everything in here is either maternity. Most of it is like this is a maternity uh, sweater from Pink Blush. This is maternity but most of it like I was going to say is not actually maternity. But they're like longer sweaters. Things that I can wear with. Um you know, leggings and stuff. So yeah. And then I got this because I went to Ross again. I've been loving Ross lately. Thanks to my sister-in-law who inspired me to go there for clothes, like maternity clothes and stuff. I got this sweater. It's so, oh, I wish you could feel it. Can you tell? Like it is so soft and cozy, but I'll just wear that with like a tank underneath and some leggings, super cozy. And then just a couple t-shirts. It's gonna, it's cold. So I'm not really wearing a lot of t-shirts and then some dresses. This was a um, maternity that my sister-in-law got me from. Um, got for me from Ross as well. That's a maternity dress. I also got this maternity dress from Pink Blush. It's just black, and it's got this ruching on the sides. Ruching? Is that what you say? Anyway, but Eric says it's kind of tight. But I don't know. I kind of like that it's tight. It really hugs the bump area. And then I have, like, some sweaters and things that I could wear over it. And one thing I want to get is like a fur vest. I think that would be so cute to wear 
just over like turtlenecks and stuff because I have a lot of turtlenecks that look really cute on the bump and um, yeah so oh I wanted to show you guys also I got some well I don't I guess I don't know like how many of you want to see this but I did score some black jeans I've been wanting from Ross guys Ross is where it's at maternity jeans they fit me perfectly they were like $13 and they're so comfortable. Oh my gosh. And they're exactly like, exactly what I wanted. And it's hard for me to find maternity jeans because, or not maternity jeans, but just jeans in general because I have such short legs. So I was shocked that these fit me perfectly and they were super cheap. So that's always a great thing, right? Okay, another thing I wanted to show you guys was my Christmas decor. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been itching to put up my Christmas decorations. Um, and I just decided, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't usually put it up before Thanksgiving, but I'm just so in the mood for it. And it just makes me happy. And so I'm going to do it, because why not? And I think also another reason why I wanted to put up my de decorations now is because we don't really have a lot of decorations up in our house right now. We moved six, seven months ago, and I still... I'm just trying to figure out what, like how to decorate in here. So I'm just really taking my time, but I do have Christmas decorations. So I was like, well, I should put those up since I don't have any decorations up basically. So I'm going to give you guys a quick little tour of what I've put up so far. We haven't done our tree. Um, I'm thinking I'll wait until after Christmas or after Thanksgiving to put up our tree. Okay. So here's our front door. I got this little jingle all the way bell from the target dollar spot. A lot of this actually is from tar target dollar spot. Okay. This year, actually I got that this year. So we just have a tiny little wreath, <laughs> nothing crazy. I think I got that wreath at Hobby Lobby years ago. All right. And then when you walk into our house, there's this little wall. So I decided to put a little shelf up. And we've got some cute little decor. So this sign is from Target Dollar Spot this year. So is this tree, this little um, tin that has a candle in it and you can just turn on the light and light that up. And then that cute little succulent looking plant is also from Target Dollar Spot. That is, and that is, and that is also from Target Dollar Spot. That my cute friend made me when we found out we were pregnant. How cute that is. She drew me with a little bump and she drew Poe and Eric, of course. But anyway, th this stuff is basically all new, um, but I just couldn't help myself at the dollar spot the other day. <laughs> so cute. And as you can tell, I'm really digging the like silver theme and I like even incorporating some like plants into this whole Christmas decor stuff. So there's a ton of stuff at the Target dollar spot right now as far as like silvery glittery stuff goes so that's I think if I'm buying any more Christmas decorations which I probably shouldn't this year but um I think I'm gonna stick with like neutrals like whites and silvers gold maybe even a little rose gold I don't know I just think it's really really cute so let's go down the stairs now I love this little fireplace area we need to figure out how to like put the cord like into the wall for this is like our wireless connection or whatever um I need to figure out how to put that in the wall and like like take care of all the cords and stuff right there but that's not a priority right now so um I just love this little fireplace area it makes a really nice spot for you know tons of decor to go so this tree and this garland right here have lights that I put from the dollar spot so I'll show you like um they're like little snowflakes and they're so cute and they just have this little box down here and you just turn them on and they're really cute. And the same lights. I got a pack for I got a pack for them on the garland for the garland as well. So a lot of these decorations were given to me, so I don't really know where they're from. But like these candles are new. They're from the dollar spot and I just need to get some batteries for them. And a lot of the stuff like Eric's mom gave me like the Santa and then look how cute this is. This is Eric's um from when he was little his letter to Santa and I love it so much. He was eight years old. So cute. And then as you guys know, we love Star Wars. So we have Eric's and mine. And then this is Poe's, what we used last year. But we need to get another little stocking holder. And then we need to figure out 
What are we going to do for our new little baby Cherrick? We'll probably need to get another stocking for her as well. And then on this little piano space, um, my co one of my coworkers is a sculptor and he sculpted this little um, frame of, it's like the angel um, appearing to the shepherds. It's so cool. It's just like, I don't know, it's so unique. Um, a little tree. This is just a random bird that I've had in my decorations for a long time. And, you know, just a few little things here and there. So, as you can see, I don't have a ton of decor. That's pretty much it. But I'm pretty simplistic and, like, a, I wouldn't say I'm a minimal, minimalist, but I don't like a lot of things. And so, I would like to get a few more decorations, but, um, and like a nice big tree. Or even get like a real tree. I don't know. I've been trying to convince Eric for years, but um, I'll probably kill a real tree, let's be honest. But I don't know. I just, I love decorating for Christmas and just, it seriously like has transformed our room and we haven't even put up that many decorations. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, let me know if you guys have some places that you really like to get Christmas decor. I was even thinking of going to Big Lots because I've heard they have some good stuff there so I might might check out what some other places have. I haven't even been to Hobby Lobby this year. Not planning on buying a lot like I said because I like to not go too crazy um, but I kind of want to get a few more things. So um, anyway that's pretty much it for today you guys. I really just wanted to stop in say hey. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and for all of your support and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!